I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to Red Men TV. The big news story of the moment is that Steven Gerrard is reportedly talking to Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool Football Club about a return to the club. Um, mad. Came out of left field, really, didn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't just know. to be honest, broke. I saw it about eleven o'clock, half ten last night on, yeah. the, on the Independence article. Only two hours previous, I was reading that he wouldn't. Yeah. be coming back like uh, from something from Twitter and I'm like and then literally two hours later now he's coming back and I'm like whoa yeah it, it, it is a bit of an odd one we, we were going to be discussing this in a load more depth and detail uh, on the website but we thought we'd get through some of your Twitter comments first to see how just to gauge the, the, the mood and what have you um, do you want to you lead us off? yeah uh, Paul Bono Houston don't know if I could handle him leaving again Does th- th- I, 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 I like that. that I agree with that but I guess also, part of me started to get excited about the the notion of being able to do his re- do his retirement properly. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because we gave him a, a shit send off. To be fair, you know what I mean on the pitch. On the pitch, and you know, yeah, well, the stuff the stuff they did for him was lovely, wasn't it? But to be able to have Gerard actually retire at Liverpool, there's a, there's something I like about the notion of that. But anyway, um, Dan Delaney at Dan underscore Delaney. Well done for getting the closest approximation of your name on Twitter. Um, yes. When he's properly retired, timing is wrong for a return now. Let him train at Melwood, but only until the new MLS season. I think, yeah, I think there's a there's a, a reasonable case in that. Ultimately, if he wants to keep himself fit and get himself prepared for the new season, he, he probably will be training at Melwood, and I guess that'd be a good opportunity as well for for Klopp just to see if he has a, if he has well, an impact. I think, while he's I there. think that's a really interesting point, and I was going to bring it up. Is that you know, if Klopp's not sure about what he, what Steven Gerrard's going to bring to the club, then it's a perfect opportunity to just have a look at him. Like, like in much the same way that he's bringing Ryan Kemp back for a few days to train, just yeah. wants to see what he's about. Yeah. Bring Steven Gerrard in, let him train at Melwood and see where we go from there. Because if I remember correctly, wasn't T- Thierry Henry did that for Arsenal mm-hmm. and then he was brought back properly, wasn't yeah. he, on loan? Beckham was, Beckham was doing it with Arsenal as well, I think. Sacked Beckham. off. Yeah. Yeah, um, but the yeah no, that would be it'd be an interesting one or something. It's like the fact is he's he's still gonna come back. He's now back in the country. He's coming to the Palace game, isn't he, at the apparently weekend? So yeah. he, that yeah. apparently will be the first time that he speaks to Klopp. The first time he meets Klopp, he's spoken to him Sorry. a couple of times already. Yeah, um, Lizam Leach at Lanky ninety nine player stroke coach. Uh, Europa League final sub last ten minutes scores the Gerard winner. Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy into that. I'll buy into that. Definitely. Uh, Mike Sutton at Mike Sutton 09548782. There's the one for the, not, not the closest to the population. To <laughs> no, I wouldn't want Gerard back at Anfield. I think it's time for a new era. Yeah, I, it's funny because that was my immediate. When, it, when we didn't offer him a new contract and, it was, and, he, and he left and all that, it did feel like. I could get. I got behind it. I was behind, I was totally behind the notion. Whether I still am, I, I, I kind of put it on Twitter last night that a lot of it links into the, it's just the Jurgen Klopp factor for me, and that's why a lot you know kind of if it were and I've seen it might it might come up in other comments of, if not I'll say it anyway. If it was, I thought it might have been you all be saying it off, uh, or be behind the camera for anyone. Uh, if it was if it was like Brendan Rodgers, you'd be like. But the clock that does change my opinion slightly on it anyway. Um, where are we up to? Normal clop at Anfield Egghead. Having Gerard back in a coaching role to help Klopp would be good, but having him as a player wouldn't be the best idea at all. Next. Um, Andrew B, is that bass tune to red? The no. Legendary bass tune to red. No, his legs can't take it anymore, and it'd just be sad to watch. It's interesting, actually, because. Um, and Zoo's really write some fantastic statistical articles. This is the least analytical tweet I think Beast has ever actually sent in to us. So there you go. But it's, I'd be love to love you to know if that was pure personal opinion or or, or based on anything. I think we could probably tell that you know Steven Gerrard was was a waning power in his last couple of years at Liverpool. But it, for me, it depend on how he was how, how if at all he was utilised. I guess um, Ade underscore underscore star trading slash coaching. I'm perfectly fine with as a bench impact player. Sure, I'd be okay with that starter. No, just no. I, I kind of I want him back for the person that he is and you know the things that he's done for the club. But I I can't. I can see it both ways, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, there's, a, there's a part of me that it's my heart that says, bring Stephen Gerrard back, whatever. But there's another part that goes, you know what, 
is he a good coach? Because Liverpool need good coaches right now. Mm. You know, Jurgen Klopp is a good coach. Is he there to learn off Jurgen Klopp for the future? Yes, and will he be making an impact to the players on the pitch right now? Maybe not in a coaching capacity, mm. but what he does offer is that I've been there, you know, and the, the leader type of thing. So he could he could definitely turn into a good coach. I'm sure of that it's it's really difficult one to decide. Honestly. Absolutely. Um, next, Mickey. Mickey Kane, uh, coach ambassador. Shouldn't be on the field anymore. Don't want him undermining Hendo as captain. Yeah, I think that's a kind of similar point to what you you, you drive out there as well. Uh, what I was going to say is the that like, there's a Dan role. I think yeah. I've said this in the past. It's a Dan's role at Real Madrid. I think that suits Gerard perfectly. Coaching but ambassadorial at the same time. So he gets to be around the training pitch because having him be there and showing and, and putting his, his dedication on the training pitch, which he's famed for, that's not going to make that's not going to be a bad influence on players at Melwood and also just having Gerard to parade around the place the European Cup winning captain still respecting the game good good in that regard um, Miles SP22 just says Gimp yeah, I think that's what role did you say <laughs> that's that, yeah, maybe that's the you role what role back, would you yeah. bring him back as Gimp yeah. it's funny that uh, <laughs> Ellis Kieber well, at E underscore Kieber as a player coach he'd barely play but he'd be good to have around yeah so there you go interesting stuff a, a real split of opinions there I think there's a there is a you know a case to to look back with nostalgia I guess the fact that it's really only been it's not even half a season that he's been gone so it's not enough time for everyone to be totally dewy eyed about about Stephen Gerrard so much in fact it's probably been the, this has probably been the first month that's just gone by that I've, I've not really thought about him you know what I mean because his book all his book quotes have died down I think we, sat, we might have sang his song at a game which we kind of brought it back but by and large we've not really heard much from Gerard and what have you so it did feel like we were finally moving on from it but you know, I'd like to get my hands on his Spotify playlist because I'm sure Lonely's on there. It's quite prevalent at the moment. Like, I, I imagine he's got like some Adele on there and stuff. Like he, he's really, you know, a bit he's of, really a bit sad of, at the a moment. A bit of Jewel and some uh, and, some, and some, some real hardcore Taylor Swift on there. Like I mean, and, uh, and what do we describe it? Describe the days as an OC quote. Some boys to men, the music of pain. Um, so yeah, let us know your thoughts on Stephen Gerrard and any potential return. Do you agree or disagree with any of the comments? Of course. What songs on his playlist? What songs do you think? On Stephen Gerrard's playlist right now in the comments section underneath. But what what song? If I pick a song that you think absolutely would sum up how he was feeling, bit of a tough time in MLS, longing for a little bit of a return home. What song totally sums that up for you in the comments below? Uh, Chris and I will. <laughs> Chris and I will be discussing this uh, and the potential ramifications of it from from all possible angles on a special one v one show. It's going to be on the RedmenTV.com. Tune in for that. That'll be good. We'll be able to to really pick this apart and ultimately decide as if anyone at Liverpool will give a shit what we ultimately decide <laughs> whether he should come back or not. Uh, if you want to watch that, do. If not, thank you very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up regardless. Go check out the rest of the content and we'll see you there. ta -da. When was the last time you wet shaved? Oh. <laughs> We're talking years there. Uh, years.